Hi, Arthur. Hello. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Alden. Hello. Congratulations. Thank you. On this great achievement. We are here to ask some questions for you to share your experience with us. Okay. For me, I think at the end of such a rigorous and intense curriculum, I think there is more relief than there is celebratory joy. Mm -hmm. But for me, I think I would just catch up on the latest film mm -hmm. to, you know, give myself a pat on the back. It's obviously a very fortunate experience for me, but we're not celebrating much because I think this is a very small milestone in my journey to become a doctor. I would have many much larger exams in the future, so this is only a very small event. And my way of celebrating is very much to talk with friends and to enjoy some dinner with them. Great! Thank you. <laughs> So I think uh, my way of balancing is very much to have a very regular schedule of volunteering. Like every Friday night, I would have a volunteering event at the YMCA near my place, which is to serve a group of children and to lead some events. I think it is a very good way for me to relax. And in terms of sports, you may know that at this very start of Form 5, I have led an extracurricular activity known as the Muscle Monsters, which is a legacy that I do want our uh, the next cohort to continue because it is a very good way of relaxing amid our uh, academic career. And I do think that uh, working out is a very good way to balance my studies and my health. I think to find the balance between those three, I think, um... It was important for me to you know, always keep in mind as to what tasks I have coming up and what I should be doing next. And I think for me, uh, community service was important because I think it's important to give back to society, but at the same time, I have to be doing something that I enjoy as to not grow tired of it. So for me, uh, I chose to you know, help prepare uh, food lunch boxes to help people in need. And uh, for sports, I, mean, I think the school has also given me an opportunity to choose archery. And to me, that's a very interesting, you know, uh, sport. sport. Yeah. Um, I think academic wise, it is important for them to you know, start early and to start often because you will have a lot of uh, IAs uh, piling up and it is important that you continuously chip, uh, chip it and as to you know, decrease your workload and to not have everything pushed to the very end, which will be very stressful. Mm -hmm. I do think the most important aspect of IB is indeed time management. And at the same time, it's about pursuing your own interest because IB has so many aspects in it and so many choices that we have to make. And uh, up to our IAs, our EEs, and every subject that we choose, it's about to pursue what you want to be in the future and what you like in your own studies. So for me, it's about being a doctor. So many of my extracurricular activities and my subject choices are related to my own career. And I do think that finding an interest in my subjects does help me study. Any advice to those that don't know what to study in, in their higher education? So if you don't know what to study in higher education, I do think this summer is the best opportunity to explore what you like. For example, like I had an internship at Hong Kong UND Biochemistry Lab. I do find many experiments very fascinating. And I do think that my pursuit in a career in medicine is related to my internships. Mm -hmm. So I have already met the conditions for my uh, conditional offer at the Hong Kong University for the Faculty of Medicine. So I would pursue a career in medicine by staying in Hong Kong. Well, uh, next year I'm going to attend University of California at San Diego and I'm going to be studying uh, linguistics because uh, I'm very passionate about learning about languages and how language uh, affects people and society. And yeah, I suppose that I'll just try to you know, do the best I can and try to maybe find some internships and also prepare the best you know, portfolio that I can. 
So obviously this is summer, so it's a bit different from before. But when I was studying in the IB, I do think that uh, first of all, volunteering would be related to my CAS and I could fill it out and as well as working out on a daily schedule and I also have regular schedules of uh, participating in events that would help the grassroots community like every Thursday I would go on a trip to Shamshui and with the help of a local church organization I would be carrying some rice or many life supplies for the grassroots community and I do think these little trips does help me relax in my study career and also help me balance my mindset because I do think that my situation is much better than many of the grassroots and that's why I would have to study even harder to actually self-actualize and achieve my purposes. I think CSS has helped me particularly uh, when uh, the teachers are very willing to help. You know, they always answer my questions and also they're very willing to argue with me which I think is very important for the Socratic method. And I think it's important for teachers to be able to defend their positions as well as they can uh, teach us to you know, support them. And uh, for FS, and for the creative uh, mindset as a whole, I think uh, they have a very uh, good emphasis on well-roundedness. And I think that uh, it is important for everyone to uh, be at least proficient in many uh, different fields and knowledge. First of all, I must praise all teachers in CSS because every time I have a question, like even at sometimes 11 p.m., my teachers do reply to my messages and this Gerard too. And many of the questions that I have for my IAs and UEs, I do ask them off in my teachers' spare time and sometimes they do help me and I do find that very useful. And I also have to praise the atmosphere of CSS because even though we have this school for over 10 years, but it has remained to be a very young and very in the school and everyone is full of energy here and we find that very useful and it has became my motivation to study here.